Your Humanities Half Hour is brought to you by the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Welcome to Your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Catherine Perry. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. And today we're turning the microphone back on you, our listeners, and other members of the community to ask, how has your year been? And what are you grateful for? Here's what you had to say. My name is Taz, and for the last year, how it's been, been pretty uh, normal. But it's got to stay positive. And I'm grateful to have my family around me. Hello, my name is John Pangalina and this year I'm grateful for like just meeting new people and having just a great year in general. Anything important happened to you in the last year? Uh, I went on a summer program and it really helped me like get closer to my culture. My name is Tori and in the last year I had my first job for a year and I'm grateful for everything and what God has done for me in my life and I receive his many blessings and his love. My name is Princess Laxon and uh, my COVID year has been tough because of all the events that I had to miss. But it's okay because uh, we're, I'm still healthy and I have my family. And I'm grateful for not having COVID and uh, being able to participate in this event right now. So my name is Richard Laxon. I'm a junior at Kagman High School. And this year, I think it was a uh, a year for re- 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 rebuilding because of, all, because of all the devastations that happened in 2020. So something that hap- good that happened this year was we were able to uh, connect ourselves to our friends. We had more freedom to build mo- the bonds, rebuild the bonds with our friends. And something I'm grateful for is uh, my teacher, Mr. Lormel. Uh, he's gonna become, I call it, he's gonna become the next teacher of the year. Uh, and he teaches us language arts and he really opens up my mind and I really love this class. So yeah, that's what I'm grateful for. I'm Bonnie Cruz. I am from the Northern Mariana Islands. I am a contributing member of this community and this past year has been quite overwhelming with you know the news of uh, having to find this new norm of living with, with within this pandemic um, and then of course learning of the new news of a uh, community outbreak um, I think it's been overwhelming in the sense of just having to shift my mind from um, that feeling of overwhelm and just how, what ways can I bring calmness and um, ease to my mind? Something that I've done for myself, I, you know, I turned 30 in August, and so something that I wanted to do for myself was really invest in my um, my health, but more specifically my mental health. And so I've actually reached out to um, a therapist, and I actually see a therapist once a week, and I'm just so excited. It's probably one of the most life-giving experiences that I've had in all my 30 years of living, and I. You know, I every week I look forward to having um, just intentional conversation with my therapist who kind of helps guide um, my thoughts. Um, she kind of provides me strategies that I can use to kind of shift from negative thoughts to more positive thoughts um, and just reframe, um, re- re- practice reframing. And so it's been so, like, um, important for me to, I realize, like, you know, the material things don't, stand out to me and this was something that I knew that was going to impact my health and just enrich my life and so um, yeah therapist seeing my therapist oh I love her so much and uh, uh, you know there are resources um, there are resources like better help which is an online app that people can um, download and they match you with a therapist a licensed therapist um, and then we also have therapists on island. Um, I know that we have a, a capacity on island that's a little bit limited, but there are resources online as well. So um, it's been such an amazing journey for me thus far. Once a week, I see my therapist. And seeing a therapist doesn't necessarily mean that you have a problem. It means that you just want extra support. Um, and yeah, I think it's been the best gift that I've given for, to myself. 
I think what I'm grateful for is that I'm constantly learning and finding new ways to um, manage my stress and um, that the, these feelings of anxiousness. Um, I think what I'm most grateful for is that um, I, ha I, I know that I have resources that I can reach out to people, um, people that I can lean on during these uh, really challenging times. Um, and really just being a part of, um, you know, a community that is going to stand in faith and not in fear. And so um, I think ultimately I'm grateful for my God and um, for um, just this life. Hi, I'm Venus. Um, Regine, I'm from Philippines. I actually um, I started working here in um, Saipan last 2016 and I got married to a local Filipino. And we're all together for three years now so during the past uh, three years uh, that happened to me I guess it's like um, ups and down when it comes to our relationship like there's a lot of um, what do you call it like blessing in disguise because we tried to work on to what what areas are we were you know our own shortcomings just to to meet halfway to work this out so I'm grateful about is that um, no matter how hard sometimes the life is, like you don't understand and you wanted to keep it in yourself. Your family were always there and that's something I'm really, really grateful about because they never let me during my my down, down times. I mean in life, I see it like no matter how, how life hits you, God is always there and have faith. I have faith in him, so no matter what it is, no matter bad or ugly it is, just take it constructively and positively, and you try to deal with it like with all humility for me. So for, for humility, like, you know, humbleness. So whatever it is, like, you just take it and be thankful for it. We're listening to you, our listeners, and other members of our community on today's edition of Your Humanities Half Hour. And we'll be back with more after this break. Did you know that the Northern Marianas Humanities Council is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year? Si Auntie Chai Langesti. You know, we eat healthy fruits and vegetables for a healthy body, no? Well, the humanities are like healthy food for our soul. Goffman me Ed Hitler. Adahi, don't forget your daily dose of the humanities this year. Go to their Facebook or their website in Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Acha bebe. Half a day. Paguna Sakan, the celebra in at 30 años, this the Anamanaguaha Northern Marianas Humanities Council. In Northern Marianas Humanities Council, Manazuzuda gi comunida para u abiba ilina la toru tauta marianas. Tat kumia dudu gi man ilo information den tilingu pon marianas. I azudu gi mafatinas leblus an otuna documentu. I azudu siha gi nini sibishani diferentes na programanya siha. Zan hana guagwaha kun bishishon gi entuli tauta marianas. In kumbibida ham du toru para indanya i i humanities council. Half a day, Olomwai, and greetings from the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. This is Executive Director Leo Pengelinen. This year, the Council celebrates our 30th anniversary, marking three decades of partnership with the community on a wide variety of programs that help us navigate our human experience. And we look forward to another three decades of doing the same. Would you consider partnering with us by making an educational tax credit donation? BGRTs and income earnings for individuals are eligible. And thank you for your continued partnership and support in making our program available. Tirowami, Lalrahiel, Nebulasio Northern Marianas Humanities Council, Rihimasegh Rabayora Emmasehi La Shushu, Biha Aelih Rech, Yara Yora Bulastioye Humanities Council. Bulasio Yel, Nyalisir Tola Prerewe Amuri Alangal Masmasal, Malwer Lal Marianas. Ewewe Shahutul, Nerefatal Meta, Meta Malier Armas, Alangal Mahutukutul Lal Sab, 
نرون رون طولا ايا ترواهمي بابو فتيشو لبي اي كامل شراهمي بابو طبوي متايا او افشي او بطيوتلال للراهية 2021 اي كتا تنغ بابو وريهمي مية خليسو Welcome back to Your Humanities Half Hour. We are doing what I think may become a, a yearly special here on the show, and that's talking to you, our listeners, and other members of the community about what uh, your year has been like, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, and what you're grateful for. My name is Erin, and my year's been pretty normal to me. And I'm pretty grateful for my family, my friends, and anyone, everyone else around me that's been with me for like the whole year. And yeah, just grateful for them. I'm Archie Abugan and I am 26 years old. This year I'm grateful because I have friends that support me with my mental health and being um, mentally healthy, physically and spiritually. Learning from a lot from the bad and the good. My name is Darren Pangilinan, and what has happened to me in the past year is COVID-19. Uh, quarantine at my house for months. I, was, I wasn't able to leave. I stopped playing sports, I stopped dancing, and I had to switch to regular online classes, which sucked to me. It was a bad year. It was supposed to be like the best high school year of my, of, you know, my teenage life, but it wasn't possible because of COVID. Uh, one thing I'm really grateful for is for my parents. Because I was able to survive, like, to survive COVID, I didn't get it. I got vaccinated. I'm really safe from getting myself into like bad health, and it's because of them for really taking care of me. I don't have good news, but I'm waiting on it. By December 23, I applied for the Coast Guard Academy, and I finished my application. I surpassed my requirements for the academy, and then December 23 is when I get notified whether I get uh, whether I get accepted or not. Good luck. Thank you very much. My name is Diana Le Rodriguez. Um, this year, with our current situation and all, it was hard on me, I would say, especially because I was cut out of school. And in school, I really like, when I, going to school, I really focused on my class, like in class. Like I really depended on school to get my motivation in and my work done. So with our blended learning system implemented, it really stopped my, my grind, you can say, kind of. And I struggled a little bit, but with the help of my parents, which I'm so grateful for, by the way, they really helped me find my move and they helped me plan my schedules out. So towards the middle of the quarantine season, I got the hang of it and it eventually got easier on me. So I would look at this whole experience as like a learning one, especially because I grew, I feel like spiritually and mentally. And I feel a lot better now, now that we're like online again. <laughs> and I look... I look forward to everyday opportunities because I didn't appreciate it before, but now that it was taken away from me once, I really appreciate it now way more. Thank you. And it was your birthday recently. (laughs) Yes, and the Thursday, oh no, Friday after Thanksgiving, that is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. (laughs) Happy birthday. Hi, my name is Jude Dominic Littelamar, and I feel like my year has been something like all the other years. It's just like... I feel like there's no significance to it besides the quarantining and I feel like I've adapted to the quarantining so that it's not really like as uh, like stressful. stressful yeah and it's not like too uh, hard you know what I mean like it's it's like it, it feels like a normal day life now how's school for you with the school for me uh, so we actually had face to face and I actually I enjoyed it but then um, I understand like how they're shutting down the schools because of the new COVID cases and, you know, uh, it keeps people away from danger. And that makes sense because, you know, we don't uh, like students are the number one priority and like also the families. So then uh, them shutting down the schools is understandable to keep everyone safe. And and I feel like since we already did online, it's nothing it's nothing new. Like we were already used to it. I'm grateful for everyone in my life. <laughs> uh, I'm happy for, I'm grateful for all the sacrifices that were made for me and for others. And, you know, how understanding people are and, you know, how they can just strive to do everything, even in this uh, year of COVID. 
My name is Sarah Herman and my year started off pretty like any other regular year. You know, we had it rough. My, my husband was going through like an addiction, you know, with drugs and alcohol and all of that. And we recently got saved. You know, we came back to church on March and for like the first time in 12 years or I think 15 years, it was the first time that he celebrated the holidays without an alcohol or, you know, he, he got it through payday without um, using his money for, you know, drugs or going in a poker room. So this year was really, I think it was a, a really great for you that we rekindled our faith going back to Christ. So that's what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful that he made the decision, you know, because if he didn't make the decision, I would have never made that decision. So I'm grateful for everything that's happening within this year. You know, we're taking it little by little and God has just been blessing us so much left and right. And yeah, I can, I, I'm just thankful for him. Thankful for God. Go on, Lucy Gonzalez. Magana the monk in sight, Panzo. The Watan, he in a note tagging me. He carried out tagging the guitar nota. Malaguzo na beli toruru hita ni man familia iwa di nangya tapan magu mola sa ye bula mapus man masusese di pagusti na untungo afa i pandemic ne pesti i pagun ni menalagos tisha na hita ni patapan langya kita nota kita fan gufleyan tapan mauli kita toru pesti tisha ta sa wa atan isti pagui ilugata gini. No kalambulan no man behind ni sama pus. Ye para sta man malele fai kusturo di kusumbetta ge kalcinita culture. Pes ane wa atan magan na onan na ya numu ni patafan kwai ya de lantun tanota gini ge za saipan. Ja malagu zulu ke na ham zulu ke pinche ge no sha. I mas dongkulu, ke para todo ke respeto, ni familia, dan malah jata nahi ke minaulik sa tanah bunitu i ilogata. Yesus masih. We've been chatting with members of the Marianas community about what they're grateful for this year. And I do want to thank everybody who agreed to be interviewed. It's not easy for myself to go up to complete strangers and ask them to uh, be on the show. And uh, a lot of people were shy, but some were brave enough and willing to share uh, what the year has been like. And I think it's really given us a good perspective of uh, all the positives and, and negatives that potentially could become positives out there uh, in our community over the last year. Again, thank you to everybody. Wishing you all a wonderful Sunday. This has been Your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Catherine Perry. This program was supported by a We the People grant awarded to the Northern Marianas Humanities Council from the National Endowment for the Humanities. Any views, findings, conclusions, or recommendations expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily represent those of the National Endowment for the Humanities or the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Humanities Council.